Hey everyone! In this video, we'll see how to do a mail merge into separate documents. So let's say you've got a letter, like over on the left, and you need to send it to all of these folks over on the right that you have in Excel, but they all need separate documents. And you don't want to have to do that work manually of saving them all, because that's super tedious. So let's see how this works. Over here on the left, I'll start my mail merge from scratch. If you've already started your mail merge, feel free to skip ahead in the video a little bit, but I just want to make sure we don't miss anything. So I'll come up to Mailings. And the first thing we need to do is connect this to a data source, which will be the Excel file over there on the right. So I'll come into Select Recipients, use an existing list, and then here on my hard drive I've got Addresses. That's the Excel file that we see there. I'll open that. select the table, which is just the name of the tab that I have in the workbook. I only have the one. And then importantly, my first row of data contains column headers. So first name, last name, and so forth. If yours does not, make sure you deselect that. But we'll say OK. And this is basically just hooking up the Word doc to Excel as the data source. Cool. Now, next thing we need to do is insert the merge fields. So up here on your Mailings tab, these are being pulled from Excel. So we've got first name, last name, street address, and so forth. And here, I'm just going to replace these. These were just some placeholder text. So I'll replace first name, last name. I'll do the rest here and be right back. OK, I've inserted my merge fields and maximized the document so we can see it a little bit better. Now, normally, you would just come up here to finish your merge, edit individual documents, but that does not actually give you individual documents. That gives you one giant document with everybody's information in it. So to get these into individual documents, there's an important step you need to take first. So I'm going to start by showing all of the formatting. If you come up here to your Home tab, click on this button right here to Show Hide, and this will show you your paragraph markers and all of the formatting, your spaces, and so forth. So what you want to do just put your mouse here at the beginning of the first line, hit the Return key, and insert a new line right here. And then you want to make this style, so select that paragraph marker, make that style Heading 1 up here on your Home tab. Mine actually just says Heading, but if you hover over it, it is Heading 1. So select that, and you'll see that makes the style different, so it's a little bit larger, it changes the color. And this is what will enable us to separate our documents. Now, you can actually do that on your first name, last name line. Come up here, make that a heading 1, but that will change the style of the first name and last name. You can come in here and change the style back, so we could make this smaller, change the color, but I find that when you go to Merge, it actually will still change that style. So I'm going to undo that, and we're going to apply the style just to this blank line up here, and that should be better from a formatting perspective. Now, if you have a date as the first line of your letter, and oftentimes I do, I'll show you a little trick to get that to work. But for now, we're just going to start with this blank line, first name, last name, and then we'll continue on with the mail merge. So up here to Mailings, Finish and Merge, Edit Individual Documents. We're going to merge everything and say OK. And this will open up the merged document. But these are not individual documents. This is just one giant document with everybody's information in it. So that step did not actually save things as individual documents. To get that to happen, what we want to do is come into View, Outline. And it could also be helpful if you come back to View, go to the Navigation pane. This might be open for you automatically, but if it's not, select the Pages over here. And that'll just show you all of the different pages in the document. Next, you want to select everything in the document. I'll just do a Control A to select all of the text. And then because you're in Outline mode, you should have a new tab up here called Outlining. On this tab, say Show Document. And that will expand some additional options. Up here, you can say Create. So this is going to create new documents starting at that Heading 1 style. 
So I'm going to create a new document for Ava Johnson, one for Olivia Martinez, and so forth. So this is the magic that makes all of that happen. But we're not totally done yet. We also need to save those documents. So do a Control S to save. Browse to where you want to save all of these individual documents. Here on my hard drive, I have a folder called Output. And just to show you, this folder is currently empty. But once I hit Save, it's going to save all of those individual documents here. It doesn't really matter what you call this first one. This was the first name in my document. But it's going to name them with the names of the people. So let's say Save. And now back here to my folder, I've got a whole bunch of different documents in here, all saved with that first name. Pretty cool, huh? All right, I'm going to come back here. I'll just close out of this document and come back to our original document. And let's see how to work with a date instead. So I'm going to delete this line here that had our style in it. And it's like we're just starting from scratch. If you need a date, so let's just say up here we have today's date. If you make this the heading 1, that will work, but when you go to save your documents, it's going to name them with that date name. It'll do something like July 18th, 2025 1, July 18th, 2025 2, and so forth. It doesn't save them with the name of the person. That might be fine for what you're doing, but in most cases, I'm guessing you need a date and you want the document saved with the person's name. So the only way I've been able to figure this out is to put your date in the header. So to open up the header, I'll just double click up here on the top of the document. I'll add the date up here. Maybe move it down the page a little bit, something like this. And then to get out of the header, I'll just double click here in the body of the document. Now we do still need that heading one somewhere. So just like we did before, I'll insert a new blank line here, come up to heading one, and then do all the steps that we did before, and everything should work as before, but you'll have this date up here in the header. The header basically gets ignored as far as the Heading 1 style and saving new documents and that kind of thing. So that's the workaround. If you need a date, just put it into your header. Everything else should be the same. So that's how you do a mail merge into separate documents in Microsoft Word. I hope that was helpful. If so, let me know in the comments, and also consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks so much for watching.